Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of August. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional uh, messages or information. Let's just get into it right now. Okay, the first two cards I'm going to choose, the awareness for the week. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, Earth element of uh, uh, Taurus Virgo. And so here we have a sense of, of being dedicated and doing a great job. You have skill, you have ability, and you are focused. You're focused on the task at hand. So whether you're working hard on a project this week, or this is something to do with your work life and your career, or perhaps you're working on a relationship, you are doing so without distraction. And so you are um, taking the time necessary to do your best job. While sometimes hard work, some may say it's grunt-like, but you know sometimes people feel that it's um, uh, it, it can be a, a stressful thing. You know, if you are focused and if you're focused on the outcome of what you're producing or what you're doing, then there is some sense of satisfaction in what you're creating, what you're building, what you're analyzing writing, whatever it may be. But you get certainly get a sense that the awareness for the week is the projects or whatever it is that you're really attending to and um, devoting your skill and your time and your desire to do a great job to. So interesting with the Eight of Pentacles, here's the next card in the suit, which is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles represents this sense of independence and success, enjoying what you have worked for and that you've worked hard and that maybe along the way you've had to sacrifice or you've had to, you know, uh, really devote yourself to what's going on. It looks like we have a peacock here, perhaps, or some type of blue peacockish type of bird and we have the tiger so in her garden she has uh i like the tiger in a tank you know it's that she's mindfully taking care of this this powerful animal so within her garden she has the things that are making her uh, enjoy her life there's also a sense of protection here as well, of privacy. But really, when I see the Nine of Pentacles, the first word that comes to mind is independence, of, of showing your independence, of doing what you need to do in order to gather and to gain your success. And then once you are feeling good about what you have, then you're in a position to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay, so now for the guidance for the week. Wow, pentacles and now wands. So we have the 10 of wands. So in the 10 of wands, the, the horse looks really tired here. The Ten of Wands can represent burden, feeling overwhelmed, uh, feeling tired from feeling that you're having to do too much, that you have a lot of obligations, a lot of things to do, and perhaps it is the hard work ultimately may make you feel that you are overburdened and having to do too much. So I always think that while this shows a lot of determination and grit and 
strength to continue on to, to literally carry those wands. Um, at some point you may need to, uh, you, know, you may need to delegate. You may need to ask others to chip in to help so that you don't feel overwhelmed, so that you don't feel burdened. Because ultimately that leads to stress, it can lead to illness, uh, can lead to resentment that others aren't doing their fair share. So be mindful of what is a burden for you or if you're beginning to feel burdened to speak up. So then we have the Three of Wands. And again, Wands, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We see the spotlight beaming out into the sky. And we see uh, the path and, and uh, the wands here. And this is really about looking at the big picture. What are you going to be doing next? What is your next conquest? What's your next adventure? Is it travel? Is it um, creating a new business? online business perhaps or is it manifesting a relationship this is really the getting started with manifest manifesting so here you've been thinking about it and thinking about it now you're really trying to think about this long view and what are you going to do with your actions in order to bring it to um, bring it into existence. So the Three of Wands is about uh, the initial stages of manifesting and manifesting a hope, a dream, a goal. Let's look at possible outcomes. Wow, Three of Wands, Three of Swords, Three of Cups. Pay attention to three this week, it's often about communication, community, expression, creativity. Uh, but look at this, eight, nine, ten, three, three, three. So three of swords, something is going to hurt. You're going to feel sad perhaps, maybe someone has hurt your feelings. You can see the swords in her heart. Maybe someone, um, you know, betrays you, wants to change things up in a relationship and that hurts or it stings or it feels like you're being stabbed. But here, throughout all of this hard work and burden, you know, there's an there's a opportunity and there's a possibility here for feeling hurt for feeling disappointed, feeling at a loss. And again, we deal with these things by acknowledging the hurt. We don't, uh, we don't let it consume us. You know, there are times when we, we, there are times when we feel hurt, and some hurts are bigger than others. But ultimately, in time, we need to handle them, acknowledge them, and process them in order for us to move on. They're often life lessons. So from the hurt, it may be necessary for you to get with some friends to feel comfort, to feel good. This is the three of cups. The cups is water, emotions flowing, talking to your crew, your tribe, sharing, communicating, leaning on each other for support, getting back to basics of being appreciative for what you have in your life, counting your blessings. But this is a chance to have some light this week. But, uh, you know, I'm really quite interested in the sequence of numbers here. Eight, nine, ten, three, three, three. So I'd be curious of what you think about how these numbers are playing. Hmm. So the other thing I would note for your reading is that 
We don't have majors. We don't have swords. And uh, that's uh, what we are what we are not seeing in this reading. So let's get a little more information. This is a meditation card or a focus area for the week. The Eagle King, the big picture, angelic help. Three of Wands, the big picture. The big picture, the big picture, where are you headed? What is it that you're going to do? You have talents, you have skills, you have success behind you. What is next? You clearly work hard. You know, between the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, you are working hard and you're good at what you do. Don't overdo it. Don't feel burdened. Uh, so we'll get to this in a second. Let's take a look at what we have for spirit or emotional self. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. So... Here we see big ideas the big picture, a lot of hard work. If you're in the process of making a decision or perhaps of saying something to someone, that may be the message to pay attention to. If there's been a situation or a matter that is making you feel sad or disappointed and you want to speak your mind, maybe it's just urging a little bit of caution, of think before you speak. Oops. And finally, let's choose a card for love and see what the message is for love. Just spread them out. Giving oneself healing. So giving oneself, again, I think about when I look at this illustration, I think of the big heart, the expressive big heart. So when you are giving of yourself, you allow yourself this, uh, you know, the possibility of getting hurt, the possibility of someone disappointing you. But it doesn't stop you from giving yourself. It doesn't stop you from hoping that the love turns out to be just right. And yes, in, in our relationships, in our interactions with people, we can get hurt. We can feel disappointed, let down. But in the first place, you have to be willing to put yourself out there. Very interesting reading for you this week. I say that with, I'm going to be thinking about these numbers for a bit. So I hope that you have a great, great week. If you enjoyed this reading or found it helpful in any way, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comment. It's always a great help. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.